Hey guys, guys it's, it's Marvin. Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 gonna, so we're gonna have a, a gag reel. We're gonna have <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Let's try again. <laughs> I'm a right. Okay. Hey guys, it's, it's Marvin. Marvin. Welcome to our first puppy haul. We are getting Russell next weekend. Next weekend. I'm so excited. We've already bought him so much stuff. <laughs> he is already so spoiled and so loved. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff to get through. The first thing I put on my Amazon list um, was these Smart Bell. And these are awesome. Smart Bell by Mighty Pawn. Um, also, it is prone. He's going to have accidents in the house. So um, I got this Nature's Miracle. This was highly recommended by every single vlog I watched. So we're going to try it. We have all hard floors in our house. We only have the rug I'm sitting on now. And also a few rugs in the living room and the bedroom. They're like very minimal. So um, because we mostly have hard floor, that's what I'm going to use this enzymatic cleaner for. Um, Nature's Miracle. It is actually cheaper on Amazon um, than it was at Target or the pet supply store that's down the road. Um, when it comes to furniture, we were recommended this bitter apple spray. Um, a lot of, oh my gosh, it actually smells really good. <laughs> Smell that. I'm like the lit. It smells right. good, right? It's a bitter apple spray, so you spray that stuff on it's like. It's like a Yeah, right? It's, like a it's so now. good. Anti chew and hot spot spray. This is the tougher um, leash that I got just to practice around the house. We are not going to walk him until he is more familiarized with walking and the leash and everything. Um, I have a harness coming in tomorrow, so maybe I'll add that in um, here to show you. But I just thought this was so cute and it's similar to like his rope toy, wherever I put that. Um, and so he will probably chew this, but it was so cute and only $12 on Amazon, so like... This I love. It is a silicone magnetic treat pouch. It has a really big clip, which Devin and I both love because we can just clip it to our pants and um, put his little treats in there. These Charlie treats were recommended to us by another vlogger, um, and they're super light and fluffy. There's less than three calories per treat, and they're super natural, um, the chicken soup and garden veggie flavor. Um, we found these treats at our um, puppy store, um, and they are, I believe these are coming from Brooklyn, New York. New York born and raised treats, um, which we love because we're in New York. Um, so I loved it because it literally has chicken cheese and molasses. So not that many ingredients, no preservatives, and that's the biggest thing for me. Um, before carbs, I would say number one is all fresh food, no preservatives, and number two would be carb counting just to make sure it's not like stuffed with grains and carbs. Um, just for our quirky, but make sure you do what's right for your breed. But yeah, love these. And then also, I have his grooming stuff that I'm going to show you guys. Um, we found these at Home Goods, so um, they're, it's literally just dried sweet potato. And so they're pretty big. We're going to cut them in half and um, see how he likes them. This I absolutely love. Um, his daddy, Devin, loves beef jerky, so I thought it was so funny that I had to buy him a beef jerky, too. Um, it's actually a turkey stick, and it's literally just turkey. No added hormones. Um, it's gluten-free, obviously, and it's really good. There's literally, like, 10 ingredients in it. Um, love, love. Edda, it, the brand is called Edda Says. Okay, so in regards to um, treats and food and stuff... Um, corgis are super intelligent dogs and we've learned over time that they really need to be mentally stimulated all that time. So, um, Kong obviously is so recommended. Um, I got the most extreme because I've seen corgis tear through stuff and we've met a few different corgis that are just crazy fun and they are 
big dogs and little dog body. So we are in preparation for that. Got the extreme Kong, got the medium size. Um, as a puppy, when between you know nine to 16 weeks or even longer, he might not chew on this. It might just be to lick out some peanut butter, um, but he will outgrow it so fast. So he'll definitely be using this for the rest of his life. So yes, we bought him so many things, guys. Um, we've seen the cutest Corgi videos. They love baby carrots, and we found this at Home Goods called the Carrot Stuffer, <laughs> and it's so adorable. I had to have it. Super cute. Stuff baby carrots in there, and he eats them. So while we're going through toys, um, I'll just finish with his toys. Um, this is from my mom. She saw this on my Amazon list and was like, oh my god, I have to get it for him. Um, how cute is that? I absolutely love it. Um, other than that, I we went to Home Goods and got him these toys. They not only fit our aesthetic, but I think the durability of them is awesome, especially this one. He might rip this tail off. You know, you have to think of things like this. I try not to buy any toys that have eyes like this, but this was just so cute. So 100% supervised because as soon as they rip these out, you have to be careful um, that he doesn't like swallow these or this. But how cute is it? And while he's a puppy, he's so little, it'll be perfect for that. Um, so we got him a little lamb. I thought this one squeaked too. I guess it doesn't. But hmm. Home Goods was awesome for these toys. Um, and all the other stuff I showed you was mostly from Home Goods or the pet store. Home Goods was so amazing because they have a bunch of toys for less than five dollars each. These were like four ninety nine or three ninety nine. So and they're like so cute and like perfect quality. So I really love these from Home Goods. And then something actually that um, Russell's breeder recommended was to get a dog um, like this that he can cuddle with, put his head on, lean up against. Um, and the dog actually has like a Velcro tummy here, it's tucked in so it's super safe. Um, and it comes with this little heart that um, you can put, I think you have to put batteries in it, um, but it gives off a heartbeat. So he will love it because when you put it in there it's like the little vibrational sound or whatever and he cuddles with it and it helps his separation anxiety and it helps him remember his mom. But I absolutely love this dog, he's so cute and so soft and I can't wait for Russell to have it. So for the playpen area, I ended up going with this mat. It is a machine washable um, pet pad. It's super absorbent. It was highly recommended. Um, this is a huge 31 by 36 um, reusable pad. It's washable. And it also came with a free grooming glove. How cute are his bowls? So another thing that was really controversial is what type of bowl do you use for your dog? Do you use an elevated bowl, stainless steel, non-BPA pla BPA free plastic, ceramic, um, all that kinds of stuff. I did lots of research and I fell in love with these matte ceramic bowls. I actually found one that says Corgi at um, Home Goods, so I replaced that one. Um, so we're gonna use this. I did this set actually came with another one of these, and I really liked it because it was matte and there's no cracks or anything in it yet. It also came in this wood holder, which I love, so it's slightly elevated, and corgis are super low to the ground anyway, so I think this slight elevation will be good for him. Um, so yeah, food bowls. I think as he gets older, we'll probably transition to a slow feeder, um, just depending on how fast he eats. So, when it regards to food, if you're going away or going on a really long walk or something, it's really important to bring, um, obviously bring your training trees if you're going on a short walk. If you're going on vacation or going somewhere, um, we do have a dog travel bowl. I got this from Five Below for $3. It's super cute, and I like that everything has like a little clip. Um, so, with that, um, I did buy this just to limit on plastic bags because you're obviously going to be bringing, if you're going on vacation or going somewhere like for overnight or long term, it's like you're going to have a bunch of different bags. So I really like this to stick in like um, a backpack or something for him. So one side can be um, his food and another side can be treats. And there's also an extra little compartment in there. It's just a lunch storage tower I got at the dollar store and I thought it'll definitely come in handy one day for kibble. Um, and then also we got one of these awesome dog travel bottles. It's super cool because it has a little button on it that you're going to push and 
when you tip it like this and you push the button, the water's going to come down. He can drink, and then when he's done, if there's still some left, you flip the button the other way and it goes back into its container. So I'm so excited about this. This we got for $9.99 on Amazon. I absolutely love it. Um, but if you want to save, like, I also got that travel food thing for a dollar, um, but there is water bottles that come with another compartment like this on the bottom of it um, for food so it kind of just depends I was finding those were like $12 so I don't really mind having these I got another thing for only $11 so save a buck okay so talking about travel I have his bed his car seat bed here um, I think as he gets older I will probably also order one of those like car mat things which is super cool but when he's a puppy and I'm going to pick him up um, Devin will be driving and I'll probably sit with him um, when he's in here we got him a little um, plush blanket we don't care if this gets ripped up peed on whatever it was five dollars from five below it goes with our aesthetic and it's something super soft for him to just love on and feel comfortable and more safe in um, again at five below they had a bunch of different colors um, and actually I've had two blankets now from Five Below and they've lasted a really long time. So I think Puppy will be very happy with that. Um, also on the Five Below topic, I found these cute pet and owner socks. So adorable. Devin was rolling his eyes at me, but it's fine. <laughs> they, they are owner socks. How cute for Dev to wear. And then for Russell, he has his matching puppy ones. Yay. So cute. Anyways, side note. Um, so yes, Thank he'll you. be traveling. You're welcome. He'll be traveling in here, and I love it because it has um, seat belts for him, so we can clip it to his harness slash collar. Um, he will be wearing a harness though. And then in the back, your regular car seat belt goes through here and comes out here, so it's actually buckled into the seat. Um, so I absolutely love this one and we also figured out it's like a little booster seat so you can probably take this out at some point and once they grow bigger they grow so fast and he has a car seat forever we found this cute little placement at home goods I absolutely love it because I have such a boho chic heart um, and it's gonna be perfect to put that um, little wood like um, food and water bowl on it. He will have his own towels and if you're getting a dog that sheds I highly recommend you buying their own towels um, just so that their hair could stay with their hair. Okay and then obviously we got a cute bed for him. I did a lot of research on shampoos probably just as much as research as I did on dog food and I ended up going with Burt's Bees Tearless Shampoo for Puppies. So that was a lot of stuff to go through <laughs> and I'm so excited that this was our first um, vlog haul for Russell and um, you know we're still figuring it all out and it's going to be a journey as we go so if you are a first time puppy owner welcome and you are in we are in your shoes right now so we got you. I hope this was helpful and I hope that you enjoy all the rest of Russell's videos. Thanks, guys. <laughs>